morning students applications of vectors to three dimensional geometry so now our topic is different forms of equation of a straight line so from 9th 10th and 11th standard you have studied so many results so many forms of straight lines now in 12th standard using vector how to write the equation of the straight line that only we are going to see the straight a straight line can be determined if a point on the straight line and the direction of the straight line are given other otherwise two points on the straight line are given so one point and one parallel vector is given or given you can find the equation of the straight line otherwise two passing points are given you can write the equation of the straight line so now we are going to see how to find the vector equation of the straight line okay so to find the e vector equation of the straight line an arbitrary point p with the position vector r vector on the straight line is taken so we have to consider a point arbitrary point p on the straight line with the position vector r vector a relation satisfied by r vector is obtained by using the given conditions so using given conditions we have to form the relation so which which is satisfied by the r vector so that relation is called the vector equation of the straight line so in the vector equation you have two types parametric form of vector equation and non parametric form of vector equation you see that if a vector equation involves parameters that is t s and all that are, that are called parameters a vector equation involves parameter then the vector equation is called a vector equation in parametric form if no parameter is involved then the equation is called a vector equation in non parametric form okay so see that the given condition the first condition i am going to take a point on the straight line and the direction of the straight line are given so using this condition now we are going to find the parametric and non parametric form of vector equation of the straight line and we are going to find cartesian equation also okay now you see the condition what is the condition given a point on the straight line that means the straight line passes through a point and the direction of the straight line are given that means the straight line is parallel to one vector so in this condition what are given the one passing point of the straight line and one parallel vector are given how to find the vector and cartesian equation of the straight line you look at this i have taken x axis y axis and z axis here this green color line is a straight line so the straight line passes through the point a whose position vector is a vector okay so the straight line passes through a point a and this straight line is parallel to this b vector so here your condition is one passing point and one parallel vector are given so we are going to write the parametric form of the vector equation non parametric form of the vector equation and cartesian form of the vector equation so so the for this passing point we are going to find uh, we, we are going to take the position vector oa vector that is a vector and p is any arbitrary point whose position vector is r vector so we have to write the relation in terms of this r vector it has to be satisfied by all the points on the straight line that is called the vector equation i, I have already told now we are moving to the parametric form of vector equation of the straight line okay the theorem is given for that the vector equation of the straight line 
passing through a fixed point A with the position vector A vector and parallel to a given vector B vector is R vector is equal to A vector plus T into B vector where T is the real number. So, here T is a parameter. So, it is called the parametric form of the vector equation. So, now we are going to see the proof of this theorem. You take first we have considered OA vector as A vector and OP vector as R vector. Okay. So, you will have a triangle. So, using triangle of addition of vectors, I am going to write OP vector as OP vector as OA vector plus AP vector. So, it is a triangle of addition of vector. OP vector is equal to OA vector plus AP vector. So, OP vector in the place of OP vector, you, we have taken R vector that is equal to OA vector is what? It is taken as A vector. Look at your AP vector and B vector. How they are? They are parallel. So, any two vectors are parallel. We can write one vector is a linear combination of other. So, that is why AP vector can be written as T into B vector where T belongs to R. So, now you are getting R vector is equal to A vector plus T into B b vector here t is the parameter so this is called the vector equation of the straight line in parametric form or parametric form of the vector equation of the straight line passing through the point whose position vector is a vector and parallel to the vector b vector Okay, so see that R vector is equal to A vector plus T into B vector. So now we are moving to the non-parametric vector equation of the straight line. Okay, look at the diagram. Here no, we should not use another parameters. So we should not use parameters. Then it is called the non-parametric form of the vector equation. You look at your AP vector and B vector. Already we have said they are parallel. So if they are parallel, the cross product between them is equal to 0 vector. So any two vectors are parallel. We can use one vector as a scalar multiplication of other vector or the cross product between them is equal to 0 vector. Here I'm I have used the cross product between AP vector and B vector is equal to 0 vector. AP vector using position vectors how it will be written? OP vector minus OA vector cross B vector is equal to 0 vector. So OP vector is R vector, OA vector is A vector. So R vector minus A vector cross B vector is equal to 0. Here you see that no parameter is involved. So this is called the non-parametric form of the vector equation passing through one point whose position vector is A vector and parallel to one vector B vector. So, now we are moving to the Cartesian equation. So, Cartesian equation means we have to write in terms of x and y. Okay. For that, the point P we have taken as x, y, z. And this point A, A is taken as x1, y1, z1. And the parallel vector is taken as b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap. So, see that a point is this. So, the position vector of A is A vector that is equal to x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap. And uh, P is a point whose position vector is R vector. So, it can be written as xi vector plus yj vector plus zk vector. You consider the parametric form of the vector equation. What is it? It is R vector is equal to A vector plus T B vector. So, in the place of R vector, you have to substitute this result. A vector is this plus T into B vector I have substituted. Okay. So, equating the coefficients of i cap, j cap and k cap. You see the left side, what you are here you are having x which is equal to here i cap coefficient is x1. Here T into B1. In the same way, j cap coefficient here it is y. Here the right side you are having y1 plus T into B2. 
so similarly uh, the coefficient of k cap is here you are having z in the right side you are having z1 plus t into b3 okay you just bring this x1 to the left side you will get x minus x1 is equal to t b1 y minus y1 is equal to t b2 z minus z1 is equal to t b3 so bring this b1 to the denominator it is equal to t the same way second term bring this b2 to the denominator it is equal to t so z minus z1 by b3 is equal to t all the results is equal to t t is a constant okay so we can get x minus x1 by b1 is equal to y minus y1 by b2 is equal to z minus z1 by b3 this is the cartesian equation of the straight line passing through the point x1 y1 z1 and parallel to the vector whose direction ratios are b1 b2 b3 okay so see that this is the cartesian equation of the straight line passing through the point x1 y1 z1 and parallel to the vector whose direction ratios are b1 b2 b3 so so under the condition what is the condition one passing point and one parallel vector are given we have seen the parametric non parametric and cartesian equation of the straight line so now we are moving to the second condition the straight line passing through two given points okay so see x axis y axis and z axis this is the straight line so the straight line passes through a and b point a and b point whose position vector is a vector and b vector so the straight line passing through a and b points two passing points are given no parallel vectors okay here we have to consider a arbitrary point p whose position vector is r vector okay now we are going to see what parametric non parametric and cartesian equation of the straight line first we are moving to the parametric form of vector equation of this straight line so for that theorem the parametric form of the vector equation of the straight line passing through two given points whose position vectors are a vector and b vector respectively is r vector is equal to a vector plus t into b vector minus a vector where t belongs to r so you see the proof what is given here the position vectors are given so let o a vector is equal to a vector let o a vector is equal to a vector and for this passing point whose position vector is b vector we have taken arbitrary point p whose position vector is r vector okay so see that that is written in the first line now the same thing so op vector we have to find a relation in terms of r vector that is the vector equation so op vector can be written as oa vector plus ap vector oa vector plus ap vector that result i have taken here what is op vector is r vector oa vector is a vector now we have to write ap vector uh, ap vector you look at your ap vector and ab vector ap vector ab vector how they are they lie in the same line so therefore they are collinear collinear also we can write one vector is a linear combination of other so ap vector can be written as t into ab vector okay so t into the ab vector using position vector how it can be write, written ob vector minus oa vector so what is ob vector is b vector what is oa vector a vector so you will get the parametric form of the vector equation of the straight line passing through two points whose position vectors are a vector and b vector see that the equation is r vector is equal to a vector 
plus t into b vector minus a vector where t is the parameter it is the real number next we are moving to the non parametric form of vector equation look at your ap and kb vector how they are they are collinear collinear also the cross product is equal to zero vector so what is ap vector using position vector op minus oa what is ab vector using position vector ob minus oa in between what you are having cross product it is equal to zero vector so use the position vectors r vector minus a vector cross b vector minus a vector is equal to zero vector so this is the non parametric vector equation of the straight line passing through two points whose position vectors are a vector and b vector next we are moving to the cartesian equation so how many passing points two passing points so this whose coordinate can be taken as x1 y1 z1 for a and for the passing point b whose coordinates are x2 y2 z2 okay and p coordinate is x comma y comma z then what is oa vector so oa vector is a vector so it is x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap uh, ob vector is b vector that is x2 i cap plus y2 j cap plus z2 k cap then the position vector of p is r vector that is equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap you consider the vector equation what it is r vector is equal to a vector plus t into b vector minus a vector so that result we have taken substitute all the vectors so here b vector minus a vector how to calculate so x2 minus x1 into i cap plus y2 minus y1 into j cap plus z2 minus z1 into k cap now equating the coefficients of i cap j cap and k cap look at this here in the left side what you are having x come to the right side here you are having x1 here i cap coefficient is t into x2 minus x1 similarly j cap coefficient left side is y in the right side here you are having y1 for this term the j cap coefficient is t into y2 minus y1 similarly we have to equate the coefficients of k cap so left side is z come to the right side the first term is z1 come to the second term t into z2 minus z1 so bring this x1 to the left side x minus x1 here in the same way y1 to the left side y minus y1 z1 to the left side z minus z1 so bring this term they are in multiplication so when we bring to the left side it is x2 minus x1 is equal to t y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to t z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 is equal to t so everything is equal to t so we can write x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 this is the cartesian equation of the straight line passing through two pass two points okay already in 10th standard you have studied only this uh, results x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 so you will have the points with uh, uh, points with two coordinates x and y now we are having x y is a three dimensional we are talking so that's why the cartesian equation of the straight line is x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 okay so the results is tabulated so what i have said separately i have tabulated in this tabular column so we are going to find the equation of the straight line in vector equation and the cartesian equation in the vector equation you will have two forms parametric and non parametric so here the condition is given what is the condition first one passing point and one parallel vector the passing point is taken as capital a and the parallel vector is b vector so the parametric equation is r vector is equal to a vector plus t into b vector so what we have taken i have tabulated here non parametric form is 
r vector minus a vector cross b vector is equal to 0 vector. Come to the Cartesian equation x minus x1 by b1 is equal to y minus y1 by b2 is equal to z minus z1 by b3. Come to the next second condition how the straight line can be determined using this condition two passing points a and b are given. So here the parametric form of the vector equation is r vector is equal to a vector plus t into b vector minus a vector. See the difference here t into b vector here t into b vector minus a vector. So come to the non-parametric r vector minus a vector cross b vector minus a vector is equal to 0 vector. Okay, so come to the Cartesian equation. What is it? X minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 by z2 minus z1. See that? So, so this formula you should know, then only you can do the problems. Thank you, students.